Hey everyone, it's Justin Lopat and today we're discussing onboarding your new assistant. So in the last video I covered the key bullet points for what your assistant should be doing to help you prospect more. Now that you've hired that right person, you need to onboard them in a specific way. A couple tips I have are number one, have a daily team meeting. Summarize the most important to-dos or tasks of the day, of the week. Label them A's, B's, or C's, and every day you're gonna check in with your assistant to figure out where their progress is, how they've done, where their struggles are. You need to coach them. If you don't explain what you need, they're not gonna be able to get into your mind and read it. So the daily review will help you and help each other have success. One other tip is they should shadow you at events, closings, client meetings. They need to understand how you talk, how you interact with clients, who your preferred business partners are in order for them to kind of be a clone and a duplicate of you. So interacting with your business partners is really important to having a great assistant be successful. The next tactic to successfully onboarding an assistant is really building a relationship and spending time with them. They should be able to comfortably speak with you about challenges or have, maybe they have embarrassing questions or silly questions, but if you're just harsh and it's all business and no relationship, it's gonna be very hard for them to come out of their shell and really perform without feeling like you're watching over their back. So take them to lunch, go out for a drink, have breakfast, check in during the week on phone calls during your drive to or from work, build a relationship outside of the office so you guys can have a better relationship in the office. Last but not least, in order to have a safety net, I always encourage people, set a 90 day performance review I call it kind of a trial period where after 90 days, you're going to have a formal sit down and gauge the relationship, how their work is, how their development is. And when you preface the hiring of someone with a 90 day trial period, you have that safety net to back out of the agreement if it's not a good fit. So those are some tips for onboarding your first assistant. I hope it helps. As always, call me with any questions and I'll talk to you soon.